We're here at our amazing customer center and we've had this land for more than 30 years and we've had some 850,000 visitors coming to us here. And now, Carl, we are investing in another super exciting innovation arena. What is that? So we'll be <coughs> testing our autonomous uh, and electrified new uh, products. Uh, we will also test them in real life environment and actually it is 12 hectares, which is pretty big. It's also an 8 million sec uh, investment, mm -hmm. so that's pretty significant. And then of course it's pretty cool that we're testing the edge new technology of Volvo C here in Customer Center in sure. Estuna. What is it exactly that we will be testing? It will be uh, hilly uh, terrain, it will be open and forest uh, terrain. We will also have 5G coverage and we will also have charging stations for our HX uh, products. We are at the Volvo C site in Eskilstuna. Uh, here we produce axles and transmissions for wheel loaders and haulers. Uh, we have invested 5 million Swedish crowns in a system that takes the spare energy and heat from the heat treatment and transport it to the paint shop where we use it both for the painting process and for the ventilation. Almost 60% of the heat we can regenerate and use it in the paint shop. The results will be that we will be able to reduce 1,700 megawatt hours a year and that is about 4 to 5 percent of our total consumption. And there are many, many things we are wanting to do here to come. We are here at the Eskilstuna site today. We have 700 engineers working here at site. The total investment of this test track is 3 million sec. And we have just uh, inaugurated our uh, new test track here for autonomous machines. We also have the possibilities with the 5G mass to, to test uh, latency, which is very important for uh, connected machines and uh, remotely controlled machines. We have done development for several years now. We will come to a phase where it's more about trying to test the system and find the last kinks in the puzzle that are not really fitting in that we really need to find and fix so we try and operate as much as possible. So uh, our goal is to operate at least eight hours a day, just run the machines again and again and again around the track. And then of course we also have a development phase, so inside this room right here we're doing testing but then we also do development separately as well at the same time. And when you are three or four people it becomes really efficient because you can have two, one or two people just operating the machines so you can have two other people doing development at the same time. It becomes a very, very efficient environment to work in. I think that's why we have achieved so much in this short time.